Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here, bringing you guys some more MLB The Show 17 Legend Lock with our third baseman, Mike Schmidt. And uh, we are doing episode two this episode. So thank you guys so much for the love and support you've given me on the first episode. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. And I think I made up my mind to do, as you guys saw, or we'll see. Um, excuse me, I'll get to that in a minute. Um that I am going to be doing only one player uh, uh, per season. So after this season's done, we're going to switch it over into another season. But I'll get to that in a minute. So I had some recording difficulties in an episode that I tried recording. So hopefully this one will be okay. But uh, there was one game that I wanted to show you guys that I played with Mike Schmidt. So I am going to roll that now. But before I do, let's see if we can hit 100 likes this episode. I know we can do it. So go ahead. Hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe if you guys feel ever so kind. And uh, here are the clips from that game, uh, but I will warn you that there are some uh, audio issues. So uh, please forgive me for that, but here it is. All right, we got Alex Wood, who's a lefty, so we're going to go ahead and take him on here, and hopefully we can do well. Last eight games. Well, Matt, it's always nice to play. Oh, yes. Finally. It is possible. <laughs> Jeez. About time. Finally got a hold of one. Against the lefty Alex Wood. Our sixth home run. See, I think we could do a little bit. I think we could have a good season. I just want him to get around 250. That's what I want his average to be for the season. Not asking for 330 with 50 home runs. I want him to hit around 40 home runs, 35 at least, and bat over 250. That's all I'm asking for. But that might be a lot to ask for. But with a guy with over 90 power, I don't think that's too much to ask for. All right, let's try this again here. All right, that was nowhere near as good as the last hit we got. <laughs> oh, man. How did I not get a hold of that? Here we go. Yes! Two! A multi-home run game for Mike Schmidt. Another one. We're ending the episode here after this game. Because I know the next one, I'm going to go f like over for 5. See, I'm okay with having a guy like this that either gets a home run or strikes out. You know, I'm all right with someone like that. But as long as he's got a good average or at least a lot of home runs, you know. But I think what I'm gonna going to do once I get done the season with Mike Schmidt is I think I'm going to make a, a vote video where you guys decide. And we won, so that's good uh, for what legend we do. So I'll probably pick like four players, three or four players, and whatever one wins, that's who we will do for the next legend lock. So I think I am going to only do one season with Mike Schmidt. I think that's uh, that way, you know, we keep it fresh every season, you know. We have someone else. So I don't want these, these, uh, you know, this series to be too long. So it'll probably be like uh, maybe two episodes per in-game month. But I would like to get done each player within a month in real life. So that's what I'd like to do. But we won 7-4. to four. Mike Schmidt's got to be player of the game. He's just got to be. Yes, he is. I mean, he went, what, what did he go? He went two for four with two homers, four RBIs, and two runs. So good stuff there. So, yep, a two-home run game for Mike Schmidt, but he is still slumping a little bit. He's only batting 179, but he's got seven home runs, 16 RBIs. He's up there for league leaders. I think he's top five, something like that, actually. We can just go ahead and take a look. He is, yeah, he's top four, I guess you could say, or top ten at least, top seven, whatever you want to say. But um, tied for fourth, right? That's what it was, fourth, I think. Right? Yeah, he was tied for fourth. But um, let's go ahead and play this game against Brett Anderson. And, uh, yeah, let's hope for the best. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Sky oh, that was a perfect right. pitch to take yard. Ah. Uh, come on. I want to be playing like we did in the last game. I'm not even asking for a lot of home runs. I just want to be getting hits. 
Oh, maybe. Nope, he's got it. Just kidding. At least we're getting decent hits. No fielding opportunities either. And I know I'm on all fielding opportunities, so I didn't leave it on none. Come on. I've gotten good hits. I really have. They just don't do anything for me. They won't carry. Here we go. Here's a play finally. There we go. Come on. Don't be doing this to me now. And, well, I got a feeling that's going to be it. And it is, so off to the next game. Hopefully, we'll be better than this one. Here we go. Alright, not the best timing that I wanted. But it's actually going to fall. Go back, though, because he hit the cutoff, man. I actually was trying to pull that, but you know what? That's okay. Alright, I'm going to steal here, because I got a feeling this is going to be an action pitch. Try and time this right now. Ooh, oh, I got it. If only that went down the line. Well, at least we got our first hit. Or our team's first hit, I should say. Oh, and I pop it up. Of course. Alright. You know what? I know I got two home runs this episode, but still i mean i just haven't really had any good hits like doubles or anything like that here we go though hot shot on the ground of course i just hit it right to the shortstop i don't know what it is i guess i think it's because if i do get a hit it's a home run so i think it has to do with his contact because his contact's pretty shitty i mean it's only 58 so i think that's the problem this has been a quick game though now a swing and a ground ball. Uh, that should do it. And it will. Of course. Alright, we're playing one more. That was just horrendous. Oh, okay. That would have been very embarrassing if I did fully swing at that. But at least I'm on pace. Come on, pick me off. Just kidding, please don't. And he's going to head into a double play. Or maybe not. No. Not a very good throw. Okay. If I've ever seen a throw like that. So three nothing now, so that's good. Hopefully we can get Baez here. Here we go. And the throw to first will be in time. Oh, he's going to go to second. So now we got a runner in scoring position. Oh, get up the middle. Come on, Baez. I had an RBI. Thanks. I got it. Here we go. And settled under it. We got it. Over to Blanco. There you go, buddy. Should be one for one. And point. Oh, on the ground. Again, to Baez. At least he didn't take a hit away that time. Oh, okay. Sorry, Helixson will make a good play here. Because I have a feeling I wouldn't have made the play. <laughs> I just tag third here. We'll see. Or he'll lay down a bunt. Nah, he's got him. There we go. Nice. I don't know why he would bunt. I was a little bit of a dumb move there. I timed that so well. This guy's got no contact. I really, Or his plate vision's really bad. It's one or the other. Because if he does make good contact, it's a good hit. So, I think that's the problem with this guy. I think that's his uh his downfall. 
But we're going to have to wrap up the episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. At least we had that one game that I showed you guys uh, where he hit two home runs against uh, L.A. So I am very happy about that. But uh, that is going to do it. So I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.